Hey, what's up everybody? This is Devin with HDPiano.com, and in today's video we're going to take a look at Naked by James Arthur. I'll be showing you guys the main riff in this video, and it looks a little something like this. Here we go. All right, so we'll get through that much in this video, but I'll be, you know, I'll be showing you all the specifics for the verse, the chorus, uh, the pre-chorus. Um, but when I say main riff, it's just kind of that four chord harmonic bed that this song is built on. We do have a bridge and some other arrangement moments that I'll be breaking down in part two over at hdpiano.com. But this video will get you through a majority of the song, no doubt. All right, so before I dive in and start breaking this down for you guys, a quick question. Um, when I see the word naked, I just, I don't know, I kind of think of that elementary school nightmare of showing up to school with uh, no pants on. And I'm just wondering if any of you guys can relate. Did you guys have the same nightmare as kids or were you scared of different things like monsters under the bed? I'm not too afraid of the dark, but I did have a fear of showing up to school with no pants on. So comment below with your childhood nightmare. Okay, we're in the key of G flat major and we've got a very, you know, simple piano part here. And it's a very common way of, you know, playing pop music. I call this the pop clave, this rhythm. All right, so one and two and three and four. So beat one, the end of two, and beat four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. All right, so get your uh, hands familiar with that there. I'm on G flat major with octaves in my left and B flat. D flat right above middle C and G flat in my right. So this is our home base, our major one chord. And check out the piano part for the first measure. All right, so we start with the full chord and then we remove the G flats from each hand on top and then we just simplify, take our left hand down to D flat and uh, reduce our right hand to just B flat and D flat and then return to G flat. Okay, then we go to B flat minor B flat and F in the left, D flat and F in the right, and get your pinky ready to play a B flat above that. All right, so the right hand just caught that middle B flat and came back down for the two on beat four. E flat minor, E flat and G flat in the left, B flat, E flat, G flat in the right. And again, we're just gonna stay in this position and we're gonna hold, in general, we're gonna hold the bottom note in the left hand, the root of each chord, and play the pop clave with all the remaining notes. Like so. Notice that E flat holding on the bottom. And then we get to uh, B major, or C flat major, and we play C flat and G flat in the left, C flat, E flat, and G flat in the right. That's our four chord. All right, so we have one major, B flat minor, three minor, six minor, E flat minor, and four major. All right, so I'll slow it down and play through those four measures one more time. One, two, three, four. All right, so there you have it. That is the main riff, those are the four chords that are gonna get you through this entire song. What I just played there was the intro, but let's take a look at what the verse looks like. Just a few minor differences here, but nothing too crucial. We do play the rhythm um, almost in full on that fourth measure. So instead of a whole note, we play one and two and three, four, and then we repeat. Again. All right, now we're at the pre-chorus where we kind of hear the guitar come in and the bass line is going to change ever so slightly, but the four chord, the harmony remains the same. All right, so there I started with G flat in my left and then played the remaining two notes with G flat in my thumb on my left. Now we do the same with B flat minor in the right hand over octave Fs in the left. 
Okay. Moving on, our left hand's gonna inch its way down to E flat octave, same pattern. And this is a new E flat minor voicing with G flat, B flat, and E flat in the right hand. Okay. And let's see what's next. Uh, C flat. So our left hand's gonna go all the way down to this low C flat, and again octaves. We play the bottom note first, and we come back up and do it again. B flat minor over F, E flat minor over E flat, and then before the chorus, we're just going to hold C flat like we did in the intro. Okay? So there, we've got the intro and the verse and the pre chorus so far, so let's just take a peek at the chorus and see if anything's different. I'm just playing through it. Last time. All right, so we essentially looped the same four measures, certainly the same four chords, and uh, the only real change was at the end. But there, the, you know, there was one consistent difference from what we've learned so far, and that is that the left hand, instead of hitting every note, is gonna hold through the first two chords, one, two, and three, four, and then play again on beat four. That kind of adds some, some movement on that fourth beat to get us into the next chord. One, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, etc. All right, it helps it you know, kind of ring out a little more, not be quite as plotty um, if every note is played with every finger. Okay, so what did we see at the end there? Well, we, on our final loop, we have G flat, B flat minor, and then we get to E flat minor, and we just hold it for the first three beats. One, two, three, and then play it again on beat four. Four, and one. We land on C flat for the final measure. And it's a slightly fuller voicing, G flat, B flat, E flat, G flat in the right. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's pretty much all you need to know. That's the main riff. That'll get you through almost the entire song. But in the next video, I'm gonna be breaking down the bridge as well as how to kind of pick up the energy of the piano part for that final chorus, play some of the string lines, string pads, um, and, you know, get that kick drum pattern into the left hand so that there's just a little more push um, and it doesn't seem like a really slow ballad the entire time. All right, well, that does it, guys. Good work. We'll see you over at part two at hdpiano.com. This is Devin with hdpiano.com. Tune it out.